Hello, Ben here, and today we are doing a seal on Magic Online for Modern Horizons 2. Uh, the set just came out, so I'm excited to play for the first time. Uh, it seems to be a very high power leveled set, uh, so let's see what we got in our pool and go from there. Uh, so as always, I like to sort by rarity to see what rares we've got to work with. And, oh, okay, so we got seven mythics that's interesting um looks like we got three copies of mirari's wake which seems pretty insane um this is a reprint from judgment i guess it's new to modern it gives all your creatures plus one plus one and whenever you tap a land you get twice as much mana uh we also got two imperial recruiters um also a nice card nice reprint from portal three kingdoms and a couple new ethics. Let's see what these are. We've got a Cauldra Complete 7 mana Legendary Artifact Equipment. It's got Living Weapon, Indestructible, Equipped Creature gets plus 5, plus 5, has First Strike, Trample, Indestructible, Haste, and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a creature, exile that creature. Uh, that seems pretty busted. I guess this is uh, a play on the original Cauldra Equipment from the first Mirrodin block. Um, which I believe had all of these different stats uh, over three different artifacts. Um, so artifact, it's colorless, it could probably go into any deck, so I'll definitely be playing that. And a Thrasta Tempest Roar. It's 12 mana, 7-7. Seven, seven. Trample and haste, and it costs three less to cast for each other spell you cast this turn, so it's kind of got like a storm thing going on. Uh, it also tramples over Planeswalkers, okay, that's kind of funny. And it has Hexproof, the turn came into play. Uh... Maybe. With three Marari's Wakes, that might be possible. Got a Sanctum Weaver, so tap to add X of any one color, where X is the number of enchantments you control, so it's an enchantment creature itself, so you get at least one mana out of it. Uh, Misty Rainforest, so they brought back the, I believe, enemy color fetch lands. Um, so that's a nice one to pull. Uh, what is this? Rishad and Dockhand. It's one, two, Island Walking Merfolk that taps target land. So this is kind of like an old, it's a play on Rashad and Port. And a Necro Goyf. Its power is equal to the number of creature cards in all graveyards, and at the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player discards a card. It's also got Madness, okay. Could be interesting. So right now I'm leaning towards green and white. We'll see if our pool can support that. Let's go ahead and get all of our multicolor over here. So we can see what we're dealing with. Okay, so let's just see what we're dealing with in terms of uh, the green to start with. So Glimmer Baron, it's a 1-2. You can sacrifice a token to get a plus 2, plus 2. Not sure how good that's going to be. Chatterstorm. Just create a 1-1 one, one green girl creature and it has Storm. That could be good. I got three of those, so those might be good with the Marari's Wake. Let's put those in the possible pile. Uh, let's see. Sanctum Weaver. We saw that one's probably a good one to put in there. Jade Avenger. It's a 2-2 two, two with Bushido 2. Um, so Bear with Upside. Might be good at holding the ground early on. Smell fear, proliferate, and then a creature control fights another creature. Uh, I'll have to see how much plus one plus one synergy we have, but still it is a fight effect, so it is removal. We've got a jeweled eye cobra, 3-1 death touch. When it dies, create a treasure, sure. Funnel web, web recluse, 3-5 reach. So it's a mana spider, but it has morbid, so if something died this turn, you get a gotta get a clue uh we'll put this tempest roar in for now uh let's see what white we got unbound potential so choose one put a plus one plus one counter of each of two target creatures okay uh, so i might go good with the f smell fear and we also got uh proliferate and you can twine it okay that's a good combat trick slash value card knighted mirror a 2-2 two, two for 3 with Adapt 1, so, and then when it 
gets a counter, gets double strike till the turn. That can be fun, especially with the proliferate. We got two of those. Marble Gargoyle, two two artifact creature flying. Spend a white to give it a plus one plus zero. Oh. So it's like granite gargoyle, but in white. Late to dinner. Looks like it's a return target creature card from your graveyard to, your, to the battlefield. Create a food token. Uh, I don't know how good that's going to be with all of our little dinky creatures. Um, bring back Thrasta maybe, but I don't know. If we had a way of like discarding it, that'd be good. Oh, there's something here. Squirrel Sovereign. Other squirrels you control get plus one plus one. Well, let's put that in with the Chatter Storms. Lens Flare, Affinity for Artifacts. We have a couple artifacts, but what's it do? Just five to target attacking or blocking creature. It's a removal. It's not great removal, but it's something. Uh, let's see, what else do we have in Arcus Acolyte? It's a Reach Lifelink with Outlast, and then other creatures you control with, out, with a plus one plus one counter on, on it have Hybrid Outlast. Okay. Uh, what else do we have in green that we missed? Crack open, destroy target artifact or enchantment, create a treasure token. There seems to be a lot of artifacts in this set, so this seems like it might be a good uh, include. Go to our artifacts here. Um, I definitely think Cauldra Complete is going in for sure. All right, so we have a Sanctuary Raptor here. It's a two one flyer for three. If it attacks and you have three or more tokens, you get to give it a plus two plus one first strike on turn, okay. Um, we have a bunch of chatter storms, so maybe that'll be worth it. Better bone. It's a two mana living weapon gives a creature plus one plus one and life link. Five to equip. It's pretty expensive, but is does come with the one one body when it comes out. Um, might be a good way to stay alive to help us stay alive, and we'll probably have a lot of mana to move stuff around with if we get one of these Marari's wakes out. Um, Millican, I don't think we need this for acceleration. So Journer's Companion, Affinity for Artifacts, Artifact Land Cycling. So I guess these are, these dual lands are Artifact Lands uh, and are indestructible. Um, so we got a lot of, let's see what our, these fixing looks like. We got green, red, white, green, white, red. So we could splash red pretty easily. We got a blue, red, okay. Um, so it's Echoing Return, we got four of these. Return a creature card and all other cards with the same name as that card from your greater to your hand. Uh, don't, it's just basically a raised dead with our pool. We got a Tragic Fall, gives a creature minus three, minus three. And if you're hellbent, it gives it minus 13, minus 13. Vermin Gorger, sacrifice a creature, each opponent loses two life, you gain two life. Could be good with the chatter storms, but the rest of the black doesn't look very strong. It's a Drake Keeper. <laughs> two, two for three it creates two squirrels and give them menace. We don't have any black fixing, so I'm a little hesitant to try and go that direction. Um, we already have 26 playables in these colors. Um. What's our removal suite looking like? We've got two lens flares and two of these smell fears. Uh, and a crack open for an artifact. I don't know. Um, might be nice to find a couple more pieces of removal. Let's see what it looks like in. I always pull a little preview pane so we can just go through this a little bit quicker. Okay, so we got a Foul Watcher, just a one two bird with Surveil. Shattered Ego. So it gives a creature minus three, minus zero, and then you can spend five to put it on top, or a third from the top of the library, so it's kind of removal. Uh, Ghost Lit Drifter, two two flyer, give, give other creatures flying. So Shiny taps something down. Aeromiba is a 2 4. You can switch its power and toughness by discarding. Drox card. Drox is number of card types. Mm. Step through. I don't even think we've got any wizards to go wizard cycling for. Otherwise, it just bounces a couple things. 
mental journey lets us draw three and basic land cycle and sweep the skies, give us a bunch of thopters. Uh, not sure about blue, but let's see what we got here. Chrome Courier. The top two, put one in your hand, the other in your graveyard. Again, probably not really looking to do black. Uh, did we get any? Let's see, kind of removal we got in red. We got an Unholy Heat. Flame Tug Yearling. What's this? At the beginning of combat your turn, you may discard a card. If you do, deals X damage to any target where X is the number of card types. So maybe two damage at most. I don't think we need that. In Revolution, this lets you bring back instants and sorceries. Yeah, I don't know about that. And what else we got here? We got a Foundry Helix. He sacks something, but it also deals four damage to any target. Okay, that's nice. That might be worth splashing. Arcbound Shikari. It's a first striker. Comes out. You put a plus one, plus one counter on each other artifact. Creature you control. Um, I believe with living weapon, the germ is black. It's not an artifact creature, so that's not going to help there. We only have four other artifact creatures, so I'm not sure that's worth splashing. Uh, Anarchomancer. Spell you cast its red or green, cost one less. Unholy Heat's not really that great in terms of a late game removal spell. Um, I think at best we might want to do something like possibly putting in So Shiny and maybe like this Wave Sifter. Uh, we can't really. S don't really have very good blue fixing. Might just have to go straight white green. I mean, this Foundry Helix is probably a free include if we want to put a bunch of these artifact lands in, but I don't know if we want to have a ton of tapped lands, especially if um, we're trying to use, like, Chatterstorm. Um, well, I mean, if we're using Chatterstorm, I guess if we have a few tapped lands, it's not so bad, but we want to really make sure that we hit our fifth land drop on time um, to get one of these Mirari's Wakes out. Odds are we'll get at least one of these each game. So right now our weakness is probably to flyers and just uh, any sort of creature that we just can't deal with. So I think we can leave out the Foundry Helix for now. Uh, let's see what three cards we can cut. Do we need two better bones? Probably not. Though they are good blockers. I like these knighted mirrors. I think I want to keep those. I'm not sure how good this Sanctuary Raptor is. It's kind of frail, um, and there's no guarantee we're going to have tokens. So I might pull that one, out, or at least three tokens at a time. So let's pull that out. Um, so this spell costs three less to cast for each other spell you cast this turn. What are the odds that we're going to So how many? We have to cast three other spells to get it reduced by nine. Two other spells would reduce it by six. So that would make it a six. This is really what expensive. I might just go ahead and cut this. This seems too. It just doesn't seem consistent enough to be worth playing. We have other top end um, with this cauldron complete. And we can move these batter bones around pretty easily once we get a Marari's Wake out. Uh, we might just be able to leave out the crack open until we see an artifact or enchantment that we need to get rid of. Otherwise, I guess we're just hoping to go wide on our opponent and hope that they can't deal with that. Let's see, is there anything else that we're missing? There's a brainstone. Draw three cards and put two on top. So it's like a brainstorm, but on an artifact. Interesting. Cookbook lets us discard extra lands, and then they can return a creature from a graveyard to their hand. Yeah, I don't know. I think so far green white looks like the best option here. We have a lot of cheap spells. Um, hopefully, it'll let us do a couple chatter storms, get a few tokens out of that, pump them up with the sovereign or with the uh, Marari's Wakes. Um, especially once we get one Marari's Wake out, we can probably chatter storm quite a bit in one turn. It's just a matter of surviving to turn five. Um, 
Which might make these blessed respites not too bad. Mm. But that might be just a little too cute. So I think we'll just go ahead and try it like this. Let's go and see what it suggests for basics. Nine, four, seven planes. I think that looks good to me. It's We're very heavy in green and we want to get green early. So I'm going to add that. Um, yeah, so I think that looks good. Uh, let's go ahead and run it like this and I will see you guys for round one. All right, here we are for our round one. Uh, looks like I want to die roll, so I will be playing first. All right, so not a terribly exciting hand, but we have a Chatterstorm and a Marble Gargoyle, and we have land, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this. Let's go ahead and lead with the planes here. Place a mountain. All right, and draw our first Marari's Wake. So we'll probably save out the Chatterstorm until after the Wake, um, so that maybe we can play a couple different spells in one turn. Let's see what we draw. All right, another. Uh, Planes. Let's just go ahead and get the gargoyle down. Start hitting. Or try and draw some removal. Okay, Scopus Reaver. 2 3 has plus 2 plus those as long as it's your turn. Okay. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and play out a planes and save this to block. Either make them use removal or, you know, we could just bounce off of each other. Would like to not draw too much more land here. So I'm going to block that. Two five. See if they have any other spells they want to play off of it. Okay, so no, no additional plays by the opponent. Okay, Squirrel Sovereign. So let's go ahead and get our Marari's Wake down and hit in for three. If we can draw one more spell, the next turn will be pretty. Bonkers. Okay, so they're just they're just holding on to the removal to see if I play something better. So let's see, we'll have six mana next turn. Or no, twelve mana next turn. So let's go ahead and lead with uh, the Cobra. And we'll drop out the Sovereign. And let's make a bunch of uh, squirrels. Three more three threes. See how this goes. Hopefully, I don't have like a mass removal spell. Okay, so they're killing our sovereign. That's fair. Will they sacrifice the planes? Sure. No kin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're going to save for blocking. That's fine. Okay, so... Doesn't really help. 
help us right now. So let's drop out the planes. Um, do I want to trade the jeweled cobra for a 2-3? Probably not. I can wait till we get some equipment. We'll have to see how many artifacts they play to decide if we want to pull in our artifact removal. Uh, just go ahead and hold that this time. Hmm, it's okay, so they are playing another color. Auger can't block. And it just sucks. I guess it's just a draw one, lose one. Okay. Okay, so knighted mirror, sure. We get double mana, so we don't need to do that much. Okay. Pass. So we'll do the adapt on our turn so we get the double strike bonus. Gouged Zealot. 4 3 reach whenever it attacks if their former card types does one damage to each creature defending player controls. Okay, that's pretty good. I don't know if I have to worry too much about main deck enchantment removal, and I'm not really sure what. Um, those colors can do about enchantments anyway. Okay, so here's another chatter storm. Um, so I think we go ahead and adapt on our main phase here. Make sure we give it first here its double strike. Right now, the instance, two instants on a sorcery, or two instants on a land. So delirium is not active yet. Let's go ahead and attack. Okay, interesting. Magic fall minus three minus three. Ah, I see. Okay. So they chose not to do it in response. It's fine. Let's see what they got here. Two two death touch enters the battlefield. Search library for a card. Put that card in your graveyard and then shuffle. Okay. Underworld hermit. Okay. Okay. Do we want to block that? I think we can take a hit. Okay, so we've got unbound potential. So 
we can probably do a pretty big turn here. Let's um I have a couple of reds. So let's proliferate. Let's do two of our squirrels. four fours then we can fight so I think what we do is we just go ahead and kill off their death toucher with our squirrel and then we can make these each into five fives And then let's go ahead and swing with the team. And then we'll make three squirrels after combat. So they can discard a card to get that lifelink on a turn. It's a 3-3 three, three since they have threshold, so that's fine. Young Necromancer. Okay, so they're going to reanimate something here. I guess probably the uh, Hermit. So they're going to get, what, five extra squirrels out of this? Tumor back, interesting. Well, they end up exiling a planes on the collapse, okay. So they're trying to keep up their delirium. <laughs> So I think here we'll go ahead and trade off of the um, trade with the zealot here. We'll take four, but that's fine. Maybe we can draw our cauldra. don't really have any good attacks here. I think we'll just sit back on blocks. I think the biggest problem with this deck is that it doesn't really have any way of drawing additional cards. So once it runs out of gas, it's pretty much out of gas. So they're going to unearth their priest. Probably bring back that makes sense okay it's a pretty good combo seven squirrels
take them four to get that back. Let's block it. Make them spend the mana and use the life. Or dead next turn out anyway if we don't draw something. Okay, damn nations good to know about. So we got a batter bone. So we get something like vigilance and lifelink. They have a death toucher though. But I don't think we have a choice. So the germ is going to stick around because of the Marari's wake. So I think we attack with the recluse. Or sorry, the cobra. And then move it over to uh, our big squirrel. Okay, so I'm just going to block with their death touch for sure. I'm going to put this back on here. Auger. Keep digging. Okay, so brains down. Okay. Kitchen imps with madness. Okay. Was that enough to kill me? I don't. So, so they're just gonna attack with the flyer. Okay, that's good. They have zero cards in hand, so. I think what we do here let's go ahead and cast smell fear on our big guy kill their imp oops I guess we don't need to cancel that Do we want to trade our 7-7? Seven, seven? Probably not. Uh, let's just go ahead and sit back here for a second. Hope they don't draw removal. Though with the brainstone, I don't think we are going to be that lucky. Take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's see if they attack with everything. Even that one squirrel looks like. All right, so. 
so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It's exactly eighteen, so we gotta block some stuff here. And I don't think block killing off an extra scroll is gonna matter here, so just keep this guy alive. And hope to get lucky. Nope. Alright. So that is game. Yeah, so I probably should have attacked there. Um, but that's okay. So would Blessed Respite be any good against them? Probably not. They did seem a little weak to flyer, so maybe the Sanctuary Raptor would be good. Maybe I'll cut out a land with all these Marari's Wakes and put in this Raptor. Let's give that a try. couple of land. I guess we'll go ahead and keep this. We have a lot of two drops we can work with. Alright, let's just go ahead and get this Jade Avenger down. Stone, sure. Go to attack for two, and then we'll play out our gargoyle. Possibly. I think the biggest thing we need to work, uh, watch out for is that wrath effect that they had. Oh, they didn't hit any lands. Okay, that's good to know. And they're also brainstorm stone locked. So that means they're not gonna draw any lands for the next couple turns. So I think we just go for it here. I think they're just dead in two, yeah. Okay, so they had a risky keep. It did not go well. All right, we are on the draw. I think what we've got going is fine. Is there anything else we might want to do differently? I think we can keep this. Double Chatterstorm, no forests, and some very expensive things. Let's, I think I need to mulligan this. Alright, uh, I think we can keep this in Ditch of Plains. Alright, so 
to lead on the forest and pass. Lightning Spear gives a creature plus one, plus O, oh, and trample, and then they can sack it to Lightning Bolt something. Okay. Well, let's give him a target. I think what I might do here is hmm. now let's just go ahead and attack. Um, they can't block it. It has lifelink. We'll have to deal with it. Either they spend their turn sacking the spear. This just gives each other creature you control without a counter on it. Outlast, I missed that. Misread that. Patrick knows or generate it. Okay, sure. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to outlast both of these, and that way if they try to um, kill off the Acolyte, we can unbound potential on it. They don't have good attacks anyway with the discard, with the Patrick Nose being able to discard. So they, I guess this loses out last, right? Okay, so. I'll have to see if they try and kill it with the lightning spear. here because even if I outlast it they can kill it in response but hopefully we can get them to try and kill it now I think exactly what we were hoping oh they're foundry helixing it okay so that's not gonna work to keep it alive okay good beats Still do four to them. And so we can play our planes and put out this recluse since we did loot the creature did die this turn. Get an investigation token. Okay, sure. Okay, so I'm just going to keep that back as a blocker. Alright, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and sack the clue here. See what we draw. Play this bridge. And I'm gonna hold off on casting to see if I can get um, a few tokens out of the chatter storm. Now that they've used the, the dam, um, we don't have to worry about a mass removal, or at least not as much. I could always have that um, creature that returns instance and sorceries. Okay, so what do they, they've got a creature, an instant, and a sorcery. And I can get an equipment into the graveyard, so we don't necessarily want a chatter storm anytime soon. So I guess we're taking three here. See if they'll trade us here. Okay, I didn't think so. Let's go and put down our mirror. And can we afford to I think we can afford to wait and give this double strike next turn? and force them to use the lightning spear or at least some sort of removal on it. Okay, cobble initiate, sure. Go ahead and do it now. Not worry too much about the double strike. Okay. So we don't really have a good way of getting rid of this zealot. Could attack, but they can just discard a card to regenerate. Sack the data in response if we try and do that. So I think I'm okay just uh, holding back here. I don't think the Jade Avenger, we can't play the Sanctuary Raptor, it'll just die next turn to the Zealot. Meanwhile, they're gonna get all kinds of fun, uh, fun stuff going on here. Let's see. Scalding Tarnisher. Okay, so now they have a land instant sorcery. Attaching to the gnomes, okay. We're just taking three here. Okay. Um, let's go and put out our battle bone. Our batter bone.
Okay, let's leave that at that. Block the zealot so that we can get it off the board. I just let's take it from the auger. zealot as much so we can start putting some stuff out. Let's get our Jade Avenger down. Sanctuary Raptor. And we'll Chowder Storm. We want to discard a card, that's fine. Ah, kitchen names, cool. Seems good. That's three to any target, so I gotta be careful about that. Brainstone, sure. Okay, so they're digging, see what they find. two cards in the graveyard. I don't think so. So I think we just block the three one and take one from the auger. Okay, so if we 
smell fear on the Avenger and then proliferate. They have two blockers. This will get double strikes. So they have to block it. Which means four or five. Yeah, that should be good enough. Okay, so we'll go ahead and kill the imp. Oh, right, he doesn't have count on him yet. Oops. Guess I should have done it on the mirror. That was a bad, that was a mistake. Well, hopefully that won't cost us. Let's see, four. So if they block this. Yeah, that was an oops. Um, Yeah, I should have done it with the mirror. Oh, well. They do have to uh, do some awkward blocks here. That was a bit of a punt, but. Yeah, I forgot. I was thinking it was like unbound potential where it gives it a counter, but it does not. So they're going to take three here. Can't quite do enough to kill them. They don't want to discard their card, okay. But that leaves us at 11 with plenty of creatures on the board, and they have no blockers. So unless they have another uh, dam, I don't know what they can do here. I think here we just take the damage. We don't need them drawing anything. To find another six damage and just a few mana. There's one of our wakes. Let's just go ahead and drop it out. I need to get cute. All right. So that was our round one. I uh, will see you guys for round two. All right, here we are for round two. It looks like our opponent won the roll, so we will be on the draw. Uh, got one of our wakes. Sanctum Weaver, a couple lands. I think we're good to go here. Lifelink modular 1 1, sure. Let's go ahead and get this bridge down. Turn 1. Followed up by an Ornithopter of Paradise, sure. Okay, let's go ahead and get down our Sanctum Weaver. So I'm probably just going to let the 1-1 one, one through if they don't uh, kill my Weaver ahead of time. Uh, no need to block that. I don't want to get blown out by a combat trick here. Alright, so here we can drop out a batter bone.
And then next turn we'll get the uh, Wake Online. Assuming the Sanctum Weaver survives. Okay, Breathless Knight's a flying life link. Whenever it or another creature enters the battlefield from graveyard. Okay, so it gets counters if creatures come in from graveyards. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get down the wake. We could trade off our life linker for their breathless knight. Uh, I think we'll wait actually, because we can at least if we do trade it off, we can get a t uh, investigation token off of our f recluse next turn. All right, disc. Sh sure. So here we're going to be a little careful about how much we play out. Don't want to overextend. Um, yeah, it puts us in an awkward spot. I think we can just. Hmm. Let's um attack with the life linker. Let's just put the living weapon on our two four. And pass. There's some merit to trying to force the disc, but with us both having life linkers. Um... Okay, so they're gonna exploit. Looks like to kill off our weaver, sure. So I think next turn we just put out the funnel web recluse and go from there. Leaves us three cards in hand. Yes, yeah, so let's put out the recluse. Um, I want to save the acolyte till after they use the disc, and we'll go ahead and just put this on here. Hope they don't have a targeted answer to that. So bone shards sacking. So I can discard a creature too. Okay, nice. So how do we beat this? Um, I think we need our culture complete at this point. How much damage are we taking next turn? Five in the air. Um, let's cancel. Let's 
um, going to equip this, get our two life back. Acolyte and our Chatterstorm. So we'll take five in the air, but then next turn we have some life link to work with. So I think I'm going to triple block this in case they can kill one of my creatures. Okay, so doing five to it, but they still kill off the exploit, hopefully. Oh, okay, sacrifice a creature in response. Hmm. I guess I sacrifice a squirrel here. to less life, but okay, so let's put on the batter bone. Oops. Uh, I think we just need to gain as much life as possible, so. Put us back to eleven. We just have to hope we can't outright kill it. Well, at least without blowing up the disc. Draw two, then discard a card. Taking five here. Okay, again, we get stuck with a lot of extra land. Uh, I think we just keep attacking. Outlast is a sorcery, so I can't keep putting counters on it. Let's drop out another planes just in case. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Sure. So I think I might have to take some land out of this deck. Looks like they might be storing up for the Nevin's disc. Okay, so there. The Honda's playing again. Discarding Timeless Dragon, okay. something artifact land lock neat okay interesting they didn't put it on a something like their breathless night there Considering moving it, no. All right, well, let's just keep on attacking. Pull up the lens flare for this next turn. They try and go for lethal or something. Um, I don't think we need a block. Sure. Uh, do we want to put that out? No, let's hold on to the second Marari's Wake. Another ploy, okay. Looks like they're digging for something. So when they discard Chimera, okay. Nothing I can do about that. Let's go ahead and kill this off. Oops. Two cards in hand, they can also put back out this uh, three two. You know, eternalizing the dragon, sure. Conjure complete or bust. Nope. All right. 
So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yep. All right, let's move on to the next game. Okay, so let's um cut out one of these forests to get in our crack open. Um, the Sanctuary Raptor might be worth it as well. What we take out of the, they have a lot of removal, so the smell of fear might be a little well. It's not of much instant speed though. Um, What can we take out? That's not gonna be as strong against them. I mean, this Jade Adventure doesn't do a whole lot. And let's go ahead and try it like this. And we'll go ahead and play first again. All right, this is keepable. Get the Sanctum Weaver out. Hopefully get the Marari's weight going. So next turn we can follow it up with the gargoyle. And then turn four, get the Mari's wake down. Mm, okay. Can get our marble gargoyle down. Thopter, sure. And a mouser, sure. Okay, let's start by attacking with the gargoyles, see what they do. Um, I think I might hold on to the bridge for now. Just in case they get those gauntlets down, I don't want to have an artifact I can't get rid of. Destroy target artifact, okay. Let's get the weight down. So next turn we can put down the batter bone and equip it. Alright, healer's flock, sure. Lots of lifelink in this person's deck. Okay, let's uh, down our batter bone. Go ahead and equip our gargoyle just pump it for good measure and put out other planes and go past turn 
even with 16 lands we're flooding out again they're gonna play in cycle for a their timeless dragon sure Did they play the planes? Yes, they did. Okay. Okay, let's um, attack again. And we want to kill our lifelinker now. And I'll save it for the dragon. Okay, so they're doing another ploy. Sure. Discarding Marble Gargoyle. So they're gonna kill off my gargoyle, looks like. Yep. So I think we're in another situation where we need to like call dirt complete or something or we're done. Might have to sideboard in blue, maybe, against this opponent. Okay, we'll ask and you shall receive. and lifelink so they may not have any way of dealing with this indestructible equipment now. First strike, haste and destructible lifelink, trample and vigilance. Tap target creature, okay. So they can exile the creature, but I can just move it next turn. Assuming that the gem, the germ stays around. Sure. Trying to 
remove it, see if they have another way of dealing with this. Kill the healer's hawk now, just in case, or healer's flock, just to get off the battlefield. In case they can kill the gem, the germ, I want to have another. Uh, I want to kill their threats for when I draw another creature. <laughs> Okay, just because I'm going to do it. All right, if we kill, the Thopter does not do enough. I think um, it's going to attack here. We'll see if they double block just to soak up damage with the intent of using the. Yeah, I figured that might be what they were going to do. open the discs just so that um we don't lose our batter bone in our Mari's wake. Alright, so the culture complete did the job. Let's see if there are some better things we can do here with some blue. Some flyers, a couple shattered egos, and this wave sifter. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, what seven cards would we take out? I mean, not really sure. The Lens Flares are fine. The Knights are fine. I like the Flying Gargoyle. So just give me more, um, you know, kind of reach, being able to draw more cards because they have so much removal. I, mean, I can get rid of like this sort of Chatterstorm package. Um, no, I think I just want to run it back. I think this is there's a good enough. So yeah, it's definitely a keepable hand. Play Mulligan. So they're going down to five cards. <laughs> so hopefully we can get a nice aggressive start. And hope they don't draw their disc, at least not until we've got our crack open in hand. Okay, so I cast my first non-creature spell, you better get to draw a card. Sure. It's gonna be a little 
the bridge down. Yep, taking one. All right, let's go ahead and get our uh, acolyte down. And save the chire storm till after we get the wake down. Sure. Guess they're down two cards in hand with a one one on the battlefield. I think we can just put out our mirror now. Okay, so they're gonna make a couple birds, sure. Down to one card in hand. So let's go and attack, see if they decide to block, probably won't. Okay, we're still gonna adapt it. Because then next turn we can smell fear and um, give a double strike again. Let's get their last card was that um, exploit guy. All right, two. Oh, suspending. Okay, nice. So I'm not going to pay the one to prevent this, so I can put a Chatterstorm down and get three squirrels out. That way if next turn I can just drop out the Sovereign and then we have three, two, two attackers. If they want to trade the Sentinel off, I can also do that. This mirror's going to come down in a couple turns. Yield to that. Okay, so I can Mari's Wake give them a card, or I can just play the Sovereign. I think I'm just going to play the Sovereign down. They do draw their disc. It's gonna we're gonna be able to hit them pretty hard. Life link, sure. They're out of cards in hand, so a land here would be great. So we don't give them a free card. All right, perfect. So we'll go ahead and put out our Marari's Wake. Pay the one. Give all our creatures plus one plus one. And they are at 
eight, so we don't have too many favorable walks here. I'm not sure what they could have here. Maybe like a damnation type effect. And there's wrap match two. All right, so deck's doing okay. It has a tendency to get flooded. Um, so we might have to look at another build that could get around that. But otherwise, yeah, Mari's Wake times three is pretty nice. I'll see you guys for the next round. All right, here we are for round three and we won the die roll. So we will be going first. All right, so here we don't have any planes. We have our Sanctum Weaver, so if we can get that to survive, we can get out a couple of these three drops. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Either draw planes or um, keep the Weaver alive. See how this goes. Hopefully they don't have too much removal. Razor Tide Bridge, sure. Okay, I'm gonna get the Sanctum Lever down. Okay, Tragic Fall, sure. I guess we'll drop out our Squirrel Sovereign. Breathless Knights, that's a 2-2 Flying Lifelink, gets counters when creatures come out of the graveyard, sure. Can we draw planes? No, just another Mari's Wait, sure. Is it gonna attack? Okay, sure. I guess they must have some sort of reanimation spell. Sure, late to dinner. 3 3 Flying Life Link. Yep, you got it. Okay, still no planes, gives us how just how it goes. Timeless dragon, nice. And another forest, so this game is pretty Probably over. They have a lot of good Esper stuff going on. I haven't seen anything for the blue yet. I think we're just dead in one turn. Don't think our deck has any way to deal with what they got going on here. Looks like they're going to have a quite a bit of recursion going on. Um, so we may want to do some sideboarding here to keep up with their card advantage. Okay, it's a little late, but do what we can. Mm hmm. Go to one. So if we put either of these out, we can fight 
with one of them. So I think what we have to... No, I think either way we're just dead because we can't fight and block. So let's go ahead and wrap this up and not show them the extra Mirari's Wake. Alright, so I think I'm going to want a little bit more in the flying department against that particular deck. Um, let's maybe take out all these sort of cheap ground creatures. Don't know how good the smell fear is going to be against that much removal. Uh, Arclight could be okay. Let's go ahead and move into some blue here and see what we can do. Get to sweep the skies. Do we have any wizards we'd want to get? Probably not. I like the drifter. I think we want this wave sifter for sure. Um, so shiny's probably fine. It's only at least tap down their creature rather than letting them uh, recur it easily. I didn't see too much in terms of artifacts that we care about. Um, is there anything in red that we'd want to put in? don't think we have anything that does enough damage in red that we'd care about. So I think let's stick to the blue and white. So we've got our Misty Rainforest. Well, we can consider, we don't want our deck being super expensive. We could put in a couple of red cards, like a Foundry Helix, and maybe even um, the Storm God's Oracle. Another option would be to ditch all of the early green and go a red route. We don't have a lot of time left. Um, let me put the Sanctuary Raptor in. Let's add six of these. And the Rainforest. Let's take out a few Forests, a couple planes. This is 18 land. Um, I'm just gonna throw on this arrow me, but two as a flyer. And let's try that. Submit and go. I guess we'd like to play first. Sanctuary Raptor, Wake, Wave Sifter. Um, a lens flare, sure, we can keep this. Hopefully we'll either draw a island or a rainforest. Go and get our uh, forest down first. Seal of Cleansing. Okay, so they probably brought that in for the Murray's Wake. Alright, so here we get our island. Let's go ahead and put out the Chrome Courier. Which we gonna put on? Put on Night of Mirror in hand. Start pecking in with the Chrome Courier. Ah, no. We put out the Knight. That's fine. All right. So I think here we'll put down our Sanctuary Raptor. Gives us affinity to if we 
we'll put the wave sifter out next turn. That'll give us another two tokens to work with. Okay, here's another island. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and attack with the raptor, see if they block. Actually, no, there's no reason to, because if they... Yeah, no, let's attack, let's see what they do. Okay, they'll just take the two, that's fine. Alright, let's get our wave sifter down. Investigate two times. Okay, that's six cards in hand. And the Thopter of Paradise, sure. In the turn. Okay, let's see. So I could keep attacking with these two. If they block, I can lens flare it. Let's attack with both and see what they do. I'm just gonna take it, okay. Okay, let's put down the Knighted Mirror. Keep developing our board. The real indication that they had a board wipe, or if they did, that they're going to use it. Six, seven, okay. Soul of Migration, sure. So they get two white birds. Three minutes. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put out the first wake. Um, force them to use the seal of cleansing. Sack the clue now. 
Are you worried about lens flaring next turn? I don't think so. Actually, that's fine. Let them have that. I think we'll just pass. <laughs> Still have five artifacts for the lens flare. Ethereum spinner, yep. I'm glad I put in these flying cards to another Breathless Knight, sure. Okay, let's get down another uh, Mari's Wake. card left in hand. wonder if they're thinking of using their uh, Fopker for something. <laughs> okay. So we got attack with the wave sifter. If we had one more. Uh, token, we could be attacking with the raptor pretty easily. Um, I think we just... Maybe we can attack with the mirror and see if they decide to block it. If they do, we can give it double strike. Just gonna chump with a one one. That's fine. Get our sanctum weaver down. And pass turn. The question is, do we want to keep the clue around in order for um, the sanctuary raptor to have some value? I'm not sure we want to do that. I'm trying to think of what other uh, token we have. We have another. Germ Maker, we have, or another uh, Batter Bone, we have a Cauldra. I think we just draw here. Yep, there's our Cauldra, nice. So, what should we put this guy on? I think we can just play it. Um, three. start attacking with it. It's got trample, indestructible first strike and haste. Don't need that mana right now, so let's just go ahead and attack. And attack again with the Knighted Mirror. Still only have two tokens for the Sanctuary Raptor, so that's not going anywhere. <laughs> I 
I think I like the blue in this a little bit better. I might make that my main uh, deck after this. They don't block and I pump that. That I think is lethal. I guess there's some merit to having uh, given this double strike and um, moving it over. <laughs> But we can wait till next turn to do that. This does give trample, right? Okay, so they're gonna take six. I think they're just dead next turn. So I'm not gonna put out the amoeba or air amoeba this turn. Okay, yep. All right, anything else we want to do? Step, let's see, steps there, they have a couple of um, ways to bounce things. I don't see, still don't see too many artifacts or enchantments to make this worth it. I mean, I guess we could use this as a way of getting rid of their um, seal of cleansing. Uh, yeah, Aaron Meeb's a good blocker against those two twos. So is the Acolyte. Sanctuary Actor didn't do a ton that game. We don't have as many tokens as before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ways to make tokens. Eh, maybe. Still trades with those two two flying life linkers, so I think it's worth keeping. And I guess we just run this back. So we have. It's kind of not the greatest mana base, but sometimes you just have to do what you got to do. <laughs> So one of each, sure. Here in Mesa, okay. Let's get down the forest first, in case we draw our 2-2 um, two, two outlasting creature. Two one, sure. All right, let's put down an island and pass turn. All right, take it two. Or thought or paradise, sure. Exile turret creature is attacking you. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get our Sanctuary Raptor down. Try to call. Yeah, let's get them to use the removal on that stuff. That's fine. Take another two here. Get the air amoeba out next turn. Hope they don't have an easy way of killing it right away. We can draw land, we can batter bone and tap something down permanently and get a couple scry triggers out of the way. Sleeping the skies, sure. That's pretty good. They're down to one card in hand. Okay, so we got another land. I don't think there's anything really worth tapping down this turn, so I think what I'm gonna do is 
play the marble gargoyle. And the batter bone. We can play the Marari's Wake the following turn. No reason to attack with the Soul Snare up. Okay, another tap land, sure. Okay, so Thorn Glint Bridge. Um. So do we want to trade a 1 1 for any of that stuff? No, I don't think so. Let's um, sweep the skies this turn. So, X is 2. We've got three different colors. We only get three Thopters, but. So be it. Next turn, we'll put out the wake. And then we can start attacking. Six, seven, soul of migration. Okay, so now we can't start attacking yet. If we draw another land, maybe. Okay, well, there's a misty rainforest. It's pay life. Um, I guess we'll get another forest. And tap down this flyer and get our. Uh, I will happily put both those on top. And attack with our life linker and three thopters, sure. So they're just going to try and kill off as much as possible. Looks like they might be switching to the Fairground Warden on that. No, I guess not. Okay, they're just taking it all. That's fine. I wonder if they have the seal in hand. They're just we're slow rolling it. See what we draw off of uh, this. <laughs> Another Chrome Courier and something else since we scribed those to the top. Take a cauldron complete. Um, and I mean, I think we just attack with everything here, right? They don't have great blocks otherwise. They're not at a lot of life. We got our Vigilant Turk token. Okay, so they exile the germ, but the equipment stays around. Sure. You can make this a 3 7 if they try and multi-block it. Oh, 
have to kill off the artifacts just because they have an effect on affinity. not to make it a 3-7. wonder if they forgot about the ability. I think that's it, unless they have some way of dealing with Cauldra. Because even if they kill the Wake, we have 7 mana to equip it again. Timeless Dragon, sure. So they're at three life. Um, let's see. Two, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Toughness. So I think we just put this on the life linker. have anything last turn I don't, don't think we'll have anything this turn all right that went well um, I think I do like this blue build better uh, I might go ahead and switch to that for the next round I feel like the flyers make a really big difference in this format um, especially with this Mar these Marari's wakes they seem to function a little bit better than the chatter storms so I'll see you guys for round four all right, here we are for round four. Um, I did decide to go ahead and do add the blue to the deck um, and try out try it out this way. Um, we are on the draw. Uh, we don't have any plays till turn four. We don't have any white mana. I think I might mulligan this. Okay, I think this is a little bit better. Um, we can go ahead and cycle this mental journey to get a forest. Um, I think we'll keep this and put a wake back. We can always draw that again later, hopefully. Okay, so go ahead and pass the turn. two aggressive starts okay let's go ahead and put out our planes next turn we'll go ahead and cycle this for a forest and then either put down the courier or the uh acolyte or the weaver depending on what they draw okay let's just go ahead and cycle this grab our Okay, so here I think I'm just going to put out the courier to draw an extra card and be a little bit, little bit more mana efficient. Uh, you know, take the cauldron complete. I don't want to discard that. Leaves us with a batter bone in the graveyard. Looks like our opponent missed a land drop. Uh, so I'm going to get the Sanctum Weaver. Actually, let's go ahead and attack. And play our Sanctum Weaver out. So they got some blue mana to go along with their black and green Ethereum spinner, sure. Okay, so Thorn Glint Bridge. So we'll put that out. Um, go ahead and drop out the wake to pump up 
the courier and hit them in there for two. And then next turn we can get out Cauldra. If they leave untapped mana, we might to represent a counter spell, we might not play it immediately. So of Hellmongrel, sure. Okay, so they're gonna get a trigger for the sculptor. They're taking out the weaver, it's okay. Okay, let's see what we draw here. Another forest. So let's do it like this. Let's put out our Arcus and get out our cauldron complete. And that'll keep us up with some mana for um, the token here. Or sorry for the lens flare. I think we just want to be aggressive here. Put them down to nine. So they're going to Bone Shard the Acolyte, sure. So we still have three artifacts. Okay, so they're going to try and race. I'm going to go ahead and kill off um, their Sculptor. We can't... The other option is to try and kill off the Mongrel force them to discard the rest of their hand to keep it alive. I might actually do that. And hope that they want to keep whatever's in their hand, yeah. Just take less damage this way. Okay, let's um Go ahead and cast this out. And let's use the green. And then it's okay. Okay, so they're scooping. All right. Let's go on sideboard. And yeah, I think that went just fine. Um, I do think the blue is better. Um, didn't see anything too, too scary. They did have some madness stuff going on, but otherwise I think we can just run it back. All right, so here we have the bridge, Acolyte, one more land, and we can cast these two, so I think we keep it. Island would be ideal. Okay, Vermin Gorger, sure. Okay, let's get out our Arcus Acolyte. Next turn we can get an island with the Raiden Forest if we want to. Interesting. Yeah, I think we'll just take the two. So I don't really want to run this into 
something with madness, so I'm just going to go ahead and play out a land and put out one of these um, knighted mirrors. And pass the turn. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our um, island here. We can attack with the mirror. They have like a hell mongrel. We can at least give this double strike. Um, do you want to hit him for six now? Let's just hold off. And let's put out another of these mirror. And we'll go ahead and outlast. Yeah. So it looks like they did have the hell mongrel. See what we draw next turn. Decide if we want to put down the wake or, or what. They're evoking a wave sifter. Okay. They're gonna sack it to drain us for two. Okay. That gives them two clue tokens to work with. Which they may be doing to try and find a land. Okay. Yep, okay. So it looks like there might be some four colors. I can't remember what white cards we saw last game. Uh, I think we can take up to seven from that. So it took four. Next turn they can do eight to us with it. Nine, ten. So I, th but we'll gain four life here, so we'll be at 13. So I th think we do play the Marari's Wake. Attack for four. Could attack them for 10 here. That would put them on a two turn clock, but they do have the food token and the vermin. Um, I think I might. Well, if they can kill us next turn, they can kill us next turn. Let's just push through damage. Because next turn with this amount of mana we can give both our mirror flying and push them through oh wow okay so overload all our creatures become four fours yeah that, that that'll do it that one includes their lands too that's pretty that's pretty sweet so that is 18 out of nowhere all right good good beats so, is it worth it to put a loose focus in? I don't think so. I don't think the Blessed Respite is worth it either. They do have a lot of artifacts, so it's possible Crack Open might be worth it. But will we put that in over? 
Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think what we've got going is okay. Crack opens a sorcery, so it wouldn't help, have helped us against that. So I think we just keep as is. Help to get an aggressive start. All right, so we got two Marari's wakes. <laughs> no green mana. Uh, we have a knighted mirror. I'm just gonna keep it. Hope we draw into something. Got to get a little bit greedy with this deck. I feel like they have a lot of these artifact lands. So it's probably because of that. Um, card that turns all their creatures in, or all their artifacts into creatures. Having a bunch of four four indestructibles is pretty nice. Cookbook to make lots of tokens, sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and Chrome Courier just to make sure I hit my land drops. Um I guess we take the Arcus Acolyte. So we might be in trouble if we can't draw a green source here soon. Ethereum spinner, sure. Okay, so I think we just put out the knighted mirror and pass the turn. Oh, sweet. That helps us. Yavamaya. Nice. So they're paying for they paying for here. Long roll, okay. Create a food token, sure. You know, a flyer. So I think I'm going to put out the Acolyte and start outlasting, I'll outlast with this guy. Don't need to outlast with the mirror. I think we just have to hope to fade that uh, overload card. See if they're casting here. Four color glinting creeper, sure. So it can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna have time to. to level this, so I think I'm just going to block here. Okay, so we don't really have enough artifacts for that. If we evoke... We'll have two more artifacts, but we won't be able to block the 8-8. Yeah, I think this game may be over before it even really started. Um, man. I guess we invoke this out. A turn. I guess we're still short.
think we just have to block here. We can get like a so shiny to lock that down it might buy us some time but probably not enough oh yeah that's gonna kill us pretty quickly their deck is sweet i like it timeless witness sure okay another island I can make three tokens, but I can't block the 8-8, eight, eight, so I think we just lose. All right. Well, that was round four. I will see you guys for round five. All right, here we are for round five. Um, oof. A very expensive hand on the draw, but we have all of our colors, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep it. see what we can draw into okay cobra will help start off with the forest in case we draw our um two two for two okay so they're getting off to a little bit of a slow start too so that's good for us let's put out our planes pass turn Two, three, draw a card, activate only if you discard a card this turn, sure. Alright, let's go and get our jeweled cobra down. If they attack, I'm gonna snap block and put up the wake next turn. With the treasure that we generate. That'll put us on a calder complete and a batter bone the following turn. So they're gonna kill that, sure. Okay, yep. Get our token. And they're just gonna draw a card instead of attacking. Okay, I like it. So here, let's go ahead and get down our Marari's Wake. Let us get out the batter bone and the calder complete. Same turn. Or even the ghost lit drifter. Which might actually be a little better. Okay, so we're going to take six here. Alright, gouge to zealot. Sure. Okay, so we can actually do the Crumb Courier instead, which I think I like better. So it doesn't give it Vigilance, but we can use the Batter Bone to do that the following turn. Create our germ token, and let's go ahead and get out our courier. See if we can find an artifact to gain a couple life or some more land just to make it a little bit easier on ourselves. Yep, this force is fine. I'm gonna leave this back to block because we aren't gonna win that race. Hmm. 
not sure what tappers that black and or white might do, or red. I don't think there's much that they can do to tap it. Okay, Rakdos Headliner, sure. Probably going to try and race us, but we'll be able to get some... Or no race, okay, that's fine. This is how it's got reach, so i got to be careful of that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and put out the batter bone. Don't need to get anything flying this turn. I don't have the mana to do it anyway. I'll just hit him for seven with vigilance and trample. seven here hopefully okay, that leaves us with a lens flare open if we need it okay, let's see if they discard possibly something with madness you know terminal agony sure so we'll probably kill off our drifter draw cards, see if they can find an answer, it looks like. <laughs> no blocks, or no attacks. Okay, so we lead with our attack. Keep attacking for seven. up some of the damage. Do three and four, yep. And let's go and play the rainforest and go get another island. And we'll sweep the skies. Three more flyers. Disc, okay. I think that's a turn too late. Okay, yep. So they're going to concede that. Fair. Um, so I think I'm going to put in the crack open for the disc. Um, maybe we don't need, probably like this Marble Gargoyle, they don't really have any flyers, I mean one of these Knighted Mirrors can go. Yeah, let's do that. That's why we can, um kill the disc if they draw it. I 
Alright, let's see how game two goes. They have a pretty good madness deck going, but it's hard to it's hard to beat this card. Here we are, um, just need a planes to make this really pop off, so we'll go ahead and keep it. And there's our white source, so turn three courier, turn four amoeba, turn five wake. Right, just clattering auger, so lose life and draw a card, but it can't block. I can bring it back to their hand. Let's go and get that island. Pass turn. So now we got our crack open in case they drop a disc out. Okay, so they did have white for some reason. No reaver, okay. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and get down the courier and see what we draw. Let's keep the sweep the skies. So next turn we can go ahead and sweep the skies and then that'll let us um, play the wake out the following turn. And I'm not going to block this and it's going to take the five. Okay, so no plays. All right, two, three, and a white. X is two, we've done three colors. Let's hit them for one. We'll see if they come in for another five, probably. Yeah. Uh, I think we can take it. So they're going to play a Gilt Blade Prowler, sure. Swamp. Okay, so let's go ahead and play the Wake and let's start being a little more defensive. And we'll just hold back with these creatures. We can trade off uh, to get rid of this 4-3. Four, four, Next turn we have affinity. We have what four artifacts for affinity? So it's a three mana four four. We got the air amoeba to block as a flyer. If they try and drop a disc. We got the crack open to take care of that. We also have the acolyte as a um, cheaper creature. All right. Do we think that they can instantly kill our wake? I'm going to go with no since they did not attack with the uh, skeleton. And I'm just going to kill off their creatures as best I can. If they've got some instant speed removal, then they got us, but. I think our deck probably has a better long term than they do. Or a better long game, I should say. Okay, so they have no plays this turn. So let's go ahead and get out the batter bone. So how much mana does do we have? Two, four, six, eight, ten. So we could spend five, equip the Thopter, attack with it, put out the Arcus Acolyte, and activate. 
which I think looks good. I want to get some life back. Oops. Let's um, do it this way. Oh, I guess we do have to do it. Hmm. No, let's, just atta let's attack for two in the air. Keep the life linker back. So two artifacts, that means this costs five, six, seven. So let's do that. Oops, I overtapped. Actually, I won't put out the air amoeba. Oh, I guess I could have put out the arc as acolyte too. I forgot we had this um, land. Uh, but I don't want to over. Ex well, they may have another wrath effect, so we gotta be careful. See what we got here. Ah, they did have another wrath effect. They just needed an extra white for it. Uh, yep. Anything to sacrifice? Nope. Disc. Okay. Okay. Good thing we have our crack open. We are at sixteen. Does it even matter? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Um, well, let's just uh, let's just end this as best we can. This is going to be pretty brutal. So 2, 4, it's 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, that's the game. All right, so yeah, that was our first uh, League of Modern Horizons. Uh, we went 4-1 and one with a very interesting pool. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that again. Uh, so yeah, we had three Marari's Wakes and a Calder Complete, um, which is pretty brutal. Um, I think after the first couple of matches you saw we went ahead and put in some blue and that seemed to work a little bit better um i really enjoyed this first draft or first uh event so uh hopefully you like the video and uh, i'll catch you guys for the next one